In this second tutorial on the vertex form, we look at a couple more examples on how to find the equation of a parabola using the coordinates of its vertex as well as the coordinates of some other point on its length. In this case though, the other point will be any other point on the curve's length, as opposed to what we had seen previously in which the other point was the y-intercept. So let's get started. I'll just start by moving this to the side, like so, and now we can get going. So since we know that this is a parabola, we know that it has to have an equation that looks like this. y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. And so our job is to find the coefficients a, b, and c. But since we know the coordinates of this parabola's vertex, those coordinates are 1 and 3, the theory behind the vertex form allows us to state that this parabola's equation can be rewritten in the following way. y equals to a times x minus 1 squared plus 3, where the 1 that's being subtracted in the parentheses is the x-coordinate of the vertex, and the 3 that's being added at the end here is the y-coordinate of the vertex. And doing this reduces the problem to only having to find the value of the coefficient a. And now to find the value of a, all we need are the coordinates of one other point along the parabola's length. And in this question, we're given this point here, with coordinates 4, 21. Now the fact that the parabola passes through this point tells us that when x equals to 4, y must equal to 21. And now, to find the value of a, we can rewrite this expression we have here, written in vertex form, replacing x by 4 and y by 21. That would be 21 equals to a times 4 minus 1 squared plus 3. That leads us to 21 equals to a times 4 minus 1, which is 3 squared plus 3. That's 21 equals to a times 3 squared, that's a times 9, or simply 9a, plus 3. And now we have an equation for the unknown coefficient a. So to get rid of this 3 here, which is being added on the right-hand side, we subtract 3 from both sides. That's 21 minus 3 equals to 9a. That's 18 equals to 9a. And finally, to get rid of this 9 that's multiplying the a, we divide both sides of the equation by 9, which leads us to 18 over 9 equals to a. And 18 divided by 9 is 2, so 2 equals to a, or simply a equals to 2. And we now know the value of the coefficient a. So combining this result along with the vertex form we have at the top here, we can write this parabola's equation in its vertex form. That would be y equals to 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 3. And I'll just go ahead and box this result. This is the vertex form of this parabola's equation. Now, as I said at the beginning, typically we'll need to find the values of all three coefficients a, b, and c. Well, to do that, all we need to do is open up these parentheses we have here inside the vertex form. And that would lead to the following. That's equal to 2 times x minus 1 squared, which is x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 3. And now distributing this 2 across the parentheses leads us to 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 with a plus 3 at the end. And now simplifying as much as possible, we find y equals to 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. And that's the final answer. Comparing this parabola's equation to the generic ax squared plus bx plus c, we can see that a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to 5. Let's look at one more example. Here's a second example. So once more, we can see that we're given a parabola, and we're also given the coordinates of its vertex, which in this case is a maximum point. Furthermore, we're given the coordinates of another point through which the curve passes. And of course, we need to find this parabola's equation. 
So to do that, let me start by moving this to the side, like so, and now let's get started. So, because we know that this is a parabola, it must have an equation that can be written y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Furthermore, since we know this parabola's vertex, that's the point with coordinates 3, 4, we can go ahead and rewrite this parabola's equation in its vertex form. In other words, we can rewrite ax squared plus bx plus c as y equals to a times x minus 3 squared plus 4. Remember, I'm getting the 3 from the x-coordinate of the vertex, and I'm getting the 4 from the y-coordinate of the vertex. And in fact, I'll go right ahead and box that first result. So, our job now consists of finding the value of this coefficient a, and to do that, all we need are the coordinates of another point through which the curve passes. And we can see from the question that this parabola passes through the point with coordinates 7, negative 28. The fact that this parabola passes through that point allows us to state the following. When x equals to 7, y must equal to negative 28. And so to find the value of the coefficient a, we can rewrite the expression that we have here, boxed in green, replacing y by negative 28 and x by 7. That would be negative 28 equals to a times 7 minus 3 squared, and of course plus 4 at the end. That leads to negative 28 equals to a times 7 minus 3, which is 4 squared, plus 4. Since 4 squared is 16, that turns into negative 28 equals to 16 times a plus 4, and now we have an equation in which the only unknown is the coefficient a, so we solve this equation. We start by getting rid of this 4 that's being added on the right-hand side, and to do that we subtract 4 from each side. That would be negative 28 minus 4 equals to 16a. That leads us to negative 32 equals to 16a. We now need to get rid of this 16, which is multiplying the a, and to do that, we divide both sides of the equation by 16. That leads us to negative 32 over 16 equals to a. And since negative 32 divided by 16 is equal to negative 2, we have negative 2 equals to a, or simply a equals to negative 2. And we now have the value of the coefficient a. So combining this value of a along with the expression we have at the top here, boxed in green, we can now state that this parabola's equation can be written y equals to negative 2 times x minus 3 squared plus 4. And that's the vertex form of this parabola's equation. And just as in the previous example, we may need to write this parabola's equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. And if that's the case, we can do so simply by opening up the parentheses that we have in the vertex form. That would look like follows. We can state that this equals to negative 2 times, in parentheses, x squared minus 6x plus 9, with a plus 4 at the end, and now we distribute this negative 2 across the parentheses, which leads to negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 18 plus 4. Finally, simplifying as much as possible, we find y equals to negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 14. And we now have the parabola's equation in the form y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. And so that's how we can find a parabola's equation using the coordinates of its vertex as well as the coordinates of one other point through which it passes. And that's it for this tutorial.